Two hundred years ago, down on this little gully, above this bay, there stood a tumble-down cottage, right where those stones are now. And in that cottage there lived a young couple. They had a few animals, and they teased what they could from the stony soil in the garden. And the husband worked down in the quarry whenever he could, but life was hard. They never had enough to eat. And when their son was born, life didn't get easier. But of course they were overjoyed to have him. And just a few days after his birth, his mother was out in the garden turning over the soil when she found a pebble. And on the pebble there was a fossil. And in the pebble there was also a hole. And so she got a, a length of leather, a thong, a leather thong, and she put it through the hole. And then she tied it around his son's neck. And as he grew and grew and grew, she had to lengthen the thong. But he was a strange little boy, and often he would go missing. And they usually knew where to find him. They would find him looking out to sea up here. And one day they found him. And they said to him, why didn't you answer us? We've been calling you for hours and hours. And he said, I thought I heard the echo of a bell in my ear. And his father said, the echo of a bell? That's the seagulls crying. He said, but I thought I saw golden fields of wheat. I thought I saw roofs and towers. I thought I saw people in multicolored clothing. And his mother said, golden fields of wheat? That's the sand down on the beach, the tides are out. And those shining towers and roofs, that's just the oyster shells in the sand. And as for the people in their clothes, you're thinking of the fish. You're imagining those beautiful fish in the sea. Come on, let's go home. But after that, they would often find him up on the clifftops here, looking out to sea, saying he could hear the echo of a bell in his ear. Well, the years went by, and by the time he was 12, he could see they were never going to be able to have enough to eat out of that little bit of a garden. And so he went down to the quarry. And into the quarry came great ships, and the ships would load up with limestone, and they would take it around the coast. And so he got a job on one of those ships. And he loved his job, and he was happy. He liked to watch the dolphins playing in the bow waves. But his favourite time was in the evening when he would go to below decks and listen to the sailors telling their stories.